I cannot for the life of me understand how anyone in the world would pick Altergeist, Subterror, or Salamangri over any of these five decks. Welcome back to another video. Pendulum Gang, where are you at? If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. Uh, hint, hint, the best deck in the entire universe is number one, obviously. Let's get started, shall we? Bonus. Shit, I picked Mystic Mind Burn over Altergeist. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now. Altergeist Subterror, they're not even decks to me. They're the same equivalent as windups. They don't do shit. They actually suck. Now, I don't know if this is just my experience of playing the best deck versus these garbage trap decks, but Pendulum absolutely obliterate these decks. They can open Triple Solemn Judgment, and I will still win. I don't care. These decks suck. They don't do anything. They all lose to Red Reboot, Denko Seka, Lightning Storm, Eccentric, Garuda, etc., etc., etc. And I don't need to side for them. You'll still win. Anyways, I've been basically mind burn over them, but this is just a bonus. Now we're going to go to the fifth most underrated rogue deck, and that is all go second decks. It could be Invoked, it could be Grand Maju, it could be Danger Dark World. All these card decks are so underrated right now. In fact, Invoked Mech Knight has the highest win rate on all of Dueling Book right now. Same with Crusadia. Like, they're all go second decks. They're go second decks. The whole meta sucks. If you don't face Spiral... Every other board is irrelevant to you, and Pendulum, of course. You can just OTK them easily. So, Go Second Decks are very underrated this format. And if you're a fan of Go Second Decks, bro, play them. Like, this is the format to play them with the whole format kind of sucking. Uh, next is Dinos. I don't know why Dinos are not seeing as much play as they should be. One Conductor clears an entire Spiral board. Like, the whole deck is so good. Bait out the negates or whatever, and then Conductor and goodbye your whole board. And you just outright win the duel. So dinos are underrated going first or going second. Dinos are underrated this format. And super great of a rogue pick. Next, Luna Light. Why has this deck died down? You guys are playing this deck so incorrectly. I would still play it with the Orcus cards. This deck could still easily end on a rank four, a double rank four, Appaloosa, and a Crescendo. No problem. It could end on the Floodgates. It could end on lots of stuff. The deck is actually still very underrated and does not need to rely on Orcus. I would, you don't need to play the Orcus cards. You could easily end on a Summon Limit set and Appaloosa and double rank four, or Griffin and a rank four, and say, go ahead. And Appaloosa, Griffin, rank four, Floodgate, that's still game. And going second, Lunar's prowess of going second because of you double or nothing is still remarkable. So I'm a big fan of Luna Light. And hey, if I didn't love Pendulum so much, I would play Lunalite right now. I'm not even joking. I think Lunalite is better than a lot of decks. It's Spiral, Pendulum, Spiral, and Lunalite, and the other deck I'm about to bring up, which everyone in the whole universe just stopped playing. And for the life of me, I, 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 I don't even know how. I don't even know why the whole world stopped playing this deck, which I'm about to say, which is pure Orcist. You guys are playing this deck so incorrectly. So incorrectly. You gotta play it as Dengirsu Control, okay? Everyone's playing it incorrectly. The The whole format, What what's an Ultra Guys deck doing to Dengirsu aside from using Sliquidus? They're going to have to pass their turn. If they can't Sliquidus the Dengirsu, they can't do anything to the Dengirsu. The Dengirsu will sit there for the whole duel. So if you're only out to Dengirsu is Sliquidus, how the hell are you clearing a Dengirsu that's coming back every single turn for the whole match? You guys get that logic? How the hell is Sub Terror clearing that card, clearing a Dengirsu? How the hell is Salaman great? Clearing one Dengirsu with, with Stalio being banned. They're not, bro. They're not. And this is a Dengirsu coming back every turn. And it's Dengirsu with Orcs in Returns, Draw 5, Infinity, Hand Traps. The play now, what I think you should do, is set up the Grave every turn. Don't worry about Crescendo. Just Orcs in Return every turn. Orcs in Return. Orcs in Return. Orcs in Return. End on the Dengirsu on field. Draw a bunch of cards. Pass. Hand Trap. Dengirsu again. Galatea. Orcs in Return. Draw again. Replenish your hand. The deck's actually broken. It's so good. Until the Gears of Goods man, Orcus will be a problem. 60 card Orcus won Montreal Regional. And I'm so disappointed I didn't go to the regional. I was super busy. I would have destroyed everyone. The top eight of the regional was Orcus number one, uh, Mystic Mind Altergeist number two, Solid three, Solid four, one or two spirals top, Luna top eight. Like, that's so garbage. That's so free. If there's no spiral there, Pendulum is just outright destroying everyone. So, that's why I put Orcus number two. I think it's extremely underrated. 
Now we're gonna go to number one. I, for the life of me, I, I, I can't fathom how this is not the most pl played deck in the world right now. I cannot even fathom how, if you're not playing Spiral, why the hell in, on Earth are you not playing this? And that is Pendulums. Pure Endymion, to be exact. This is the number one deck in the world right now, and no one's playing it. it I, I, I can't even... I won it, I, bro, I finished fifth at a regional with no Electrum against full power of all these decks. Now that all these decks are banned, what does that, how the hell does that not make Pendulum the best? I know it's just a regional, but if you're destroying Sky Orcus every game, full power, how the hell are you not destroying Orcus now when it's at like 10% power? How the hell are you not destroying Salamander right now that it's at 10% power? How the hell are you not destroying all these other decks now that they're full power Alter Geist, but they're shit anyways, who gives a shit? Right? How are you not destroying Alter Geist or Sub -tier? When you when I used to face Alter Geist or Sub -tier, I'm like, yes, a buy. Thank you. I'd be so happy. Now when some of you players face Alter Geist, you're just like, oh I face Alter Geist. I lost. Oh my god, he has one solemn strike. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna destroy it, even though I have the greatest card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Mighty Master here to clear the whole board. You guys hear, hear what I'm saying? It is so easy. But unfortunately, a lot of you are playing it incorrectly. Hence, which is why in the future I will be doing on my Patreon how to destroy back row decks on the Trip Game membership. So if you guys love Pendulum, I highly advise sign up down below and learn how to obliterate back row decks. Because it really seems that you guys have a problem with it. And I do a lot of research on how to do this for you guys. And so I'm trying to make my membership a one-stop shop. For all Pendulum players to learn about the game. So you don't got to look anywhere. Just so you guys know. Just look at one place. Make your life easy. Learn how to do it. Destroy your opponents. And then take their girlfriends. And that's really the game plan we have as Pendulum players. And it's a lot easier than, than it might seem. So I'm going to do a little recap on all the video on all the decks. Uh, bonus Mystic Mind Burn. Number 5. We're going to say it is all go second decks. Number 4. Dinos. Number 3. Luna Light. Number 2. Orcus. And number 1. The best deck, Pendulums. Pendulum best rogue deck. Pendulum best deck. Pendulum best deck going first. Pendulum best deck going second. Pendulum best deck versus hand traps. Pendulum best deck versus everything. I don't know for the life of me why people don't play Pendulums. Probably because you guys don't know how to play Pendulums. So if you don't know how to play Pendulums, plain and simple, just sign up to the Pendulum membership down in the description below to learn how to play Pendulums. On the entire membership, we discuss in depth, and I talk about the whole membership in the next minute of the video. We discuss in depth how to play around the whole meta. We discuss the whole new game plan. We release three new videos every week on the membership, specifically tailored to pendulum training. With each video showing something new, every week is going to be showing a game plan, the, the new game plan of the week, the remastered game plan of the week. The updated game plan for the meta of the week, as well as two new videos every week on how to beat the meta, how to play versus Droll, how to play versus Spiral. Those are the two decks that are two videos that we showed on last week's episodes on the membership. And next week, we are going to be doing some version of how to play versus Backer decks or how to play Closing Second, things like that. To really help you guys learn how to destroy all these shit decks, which for some reason a lot of you are having troubles with. It's super cheap prices for what it's worth. It is, I spend hours and hours and hours and hours to get you guys the best possible quality content to learn how to beat other decks if you're playing Pendulums. And if I posted all that on my YouTube, not many people will be able to have the attention span to deal with pure knowledge. It's just. Knowledge, straight up knowledge, exact facts, spitting facts, no advertisements or nothing on it, just knowledge and facts to help you guys become the best players in the world. And that is the vision behind the whole Trip Gaming membership. So if you guys love Pendulums, make sure to go sign up down below. You guys won't regret it. That's the video for today. I hope you guys like it. Hit the subscribe button. Stick to the game plan, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.